convert 12888 to base 8. So to do this problem, we're just going to repeatedly divide by 8 and find the remainders. So we'll start by taking 12888 and then just dividing it by 8. I'm going to put this in the calculator. 12888 divided by 8. So I got 16, 1, 1. There's no remainder here, so it's 0. So to find the remainder, which which is zero, if you don't if you can if you don't see it right away, you take this part and you multiply it by eight always, so you get zero. So the remainder is zero. Okay, here it was zero, so there was nothing, so the remainder is just zero. If you have a decimal here, you put it here, and you multiply it by eight, and it gives you the remainder. Okay, then you repeat the process. You take this one again, take this one here. This is the whole number part, and then just divide it by eight again. And again, we're looking for the remainder. So sixteen one one divided by 8. So I got 201.375. So that's the remainder part. So we want to know what that is. So what we do is we multiply it by 8. So that gives us 0 0.375 times 8. So that's 3. So the remainder is 3. Okay, and then you do it again. You take the whole number part and you divide by 8. And you keep doing this until the whole number part is 0. That's how you know when to stop. Okay, So you divide by 8. So 201 divided by 8. So I got 25.125. So to find the remainder, we take 0.125 and then just multiply it by 8. This is equal to 0.125 times 8. I got 1. The remainder is 1. Then we do it again. We take the 25 divided by 8. 25 divided by 8. This is equal to, let's say, 25 divided by 8. Whoops, 25 divided by 8 is 3.125. Remainder should be 1, right? Because um, 3 times 8 is 24, 1's left over. But let's let's continue with our process because this, this always works. 1, boom. Then you do it again. You take the 3. So 3 divided by 8. So 3 divided by 8 is 0 0.375. The remainder is 0. The remainder is going to be 3, by the way, because 8 goes into 3 zero times, and you have 3 left over. But let's keep going with our process. 0.375 times 8, and that'll give us 3. And we stop, because the whole number part is 0. So what's the answer? Well, you just write these backwards. So 3, 1, 1, 3, 0. Reading them backwards. 3, 1, 1, Three zero, and then this is eight, base eight. I hope this video has been helpful.